Hello there everyone, interesting court case this week um, involving VAT and recovery of input VAT. Um, specifically this involved the Royal Opera House at Covent Garden. So basically what happened is that um, the Royal Opera House, they incurred half a million pounds worth of VAT in this particular year that was under scrutiny going back a few years half a million pounds of VAT was incurred on production costs for the, the staging of a, of a production now when you go to the Royal Opera House the um, it's an exempt supply you, it's a cultural event so there is no VAT that's charged uh, when you go in so so the actual putting on of cultural performances is exempt for VAT. Now, normally if you have exempt supplies for VAT, you cannot claim back the associated VAT on the expenses in connection with making those supplies. So you sell something that's exempt from VAT, you cannot claim the cost back incurred uh, on the VAT because it's, uh, it's linked to an exempt supply. On the flip side, if you are making taxable supplies of zero or standard rating um, goods or services, then you claim the VAT back on the associated costs. What the Royal Opera House did, which is quite a cute argument, they said, uh, well, actually, our stage productions are, they are actually linked to one of our taxable supplies, because not only did they put on shows, but they also had catering, which is subject to standard rate VAT, and they argued in front of the tax courts. They said, look, people come to the opera for the whole experience. It's not just about coming to see the, the event. It's about having you know, whining and dining and everything else. It's all part and parcel of one service that we're providing. So they argued, they said, look, there's a direct link between the VAT incurred on the uh, stage show, putting on the stage production, and the fact that we are um, selling uh, catering for the customers, which is subject to VAT. So because we're paying VAT over here, we want to claim back VAT over there because there is this link. And the tax courts said, no, there's no link. Um, there is two separate activities going on here. You've got this um, this exempt supply, the, the performance, the performance itself, no VAT. And then you've got a totally separate supply of catering which is subject to VAT and of course the cost of the food and everything else the costs of or the costs of any VAT incurred um, in the supply of catering you know that that is all um, subject to be uh, claimed back but the the VAT incurred on the actual production costs of putting on the stage show at the Opera House that was not because there was a direct link to an exempt supply, the performance of the cultural event. And you could not link it to the um, provision of the catering. Uh, nice try. Um, you can see why they would uh, argue that, but uh, it fell uh, foul of the decisions of the courts. Three successive courts, actually. The um, It went all the way up to uh, the Court of Appeal. Um and ultimately the Royal Opera House lost. So just a tip there to take away is, is the VAT reclaim that you're aiming for on expenses, are those expenses incurred directly for, is there a direct link between those expenses and the thing that you are selling, basically? Because if that link is not there, you will get denied the VAT recovery of the input VAT. And in this case, with the Royal Opera House, it was half a million pounds. That was just for one year. So um, just bear that in mind. It's not always carte blanche that you're going to be able to claim back input VAT on your expenses. Now, the vast amount of businesses, SME businesses, even large businesses, yes, you can. But you have these things like partial exemption if you're making uh, exempt supplies. Um, but just be careful. Just be careful and don't assume you can claim VAT back on everything um, because there are restrictions and the VAT world is notoriously complex, uh, many different uh, inter interwoven rules. But uh, yeah, just, uh, just an overview there on um, direct link between expenses and 
your sales. So if you like this video, please do subscribe right there and I will see you soon.